Hi guys, it's Peter from Professional Boat Care. I uh, thought I should give you a quick update before we uh, launch into this one. Uh, apologies, there haven't been many videos lately. I think it's been six months or more since I've uploaded something. Um, but the good news is I've done about six or seven trips, uh, filmed them all, so I'm madly editing. Can't wait to share them with you. Um, maybe hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell button. That way when I do upload them, you'll know about it. Um, yeah, really looking forward to sharing some great boats and some really uh, amazing places. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it and uh, enjoy. Yeah, so this is a uh, delivery video. Uh, we're running my client's 50 foot Riviera from Port Douglas down to uh, the Whitsundays. And uh, the cool thing is I've got my middle child on board, Sam. He's coming along as crew. Yeah, one of the good things about a delivery without the owners on board is the fact that you can be more flexible. So we had picked a uh, great little weather window here. I'm really looking forward to it. So first stop was the fuel bowser. So yeah, the owner had a few good trips out of uh, Port Douglas out to the reef, but was looking forward to getting his boat down to the Whitsundays next to use it down there. You might remember from my video bringing the boat up how skinny it gets here coming into Port Douglas. So we got 1.7. But we had a bit of tide on our side this time, so no real dramas. I'd just like to say also Crystal Brook Marina there, they did such a good job. Very accommodating. And Port Douglas as a town and destination, it's so good. Right on the doorstep of the reef, fantastic restaurants, just a good vibe. Anyway, next stop was down to Townsville. She's a pretty cool boat, this. The most economical cruise speed's 24 knots. That's Cairns in the background there. Coming around Cape Grafton, looking back towards Cairns there. And this is Fitzroy Island. To our port there is uh, Russell Island and Normanby Island. Mini me. Yeah. <laughs> the crew. I love this little spot in there, that's Marillion Harbour. You just can't believe it, in amongst all the rainforests is this beautiful little harbour that accepts ships. Looking in there is uh, towards Mission Beach and this is Dunk Island here. Dunk got ruined in there, the resort, that's all sort of in disarray from cyclones. Anyway, it was a good op first opportunity really to pull up and just have a quick look around the engine room, make sure everything's in order and we also took advantage of the idling along and made ourselves lunch. With that out of the way, Got her up onto 24 knots again. This is Badara. Some of the islands here are just, they look like a movie set, they're so beautiful. So it's something being built on Polaris Island, which is east of uh, Hinchinbrook. I'm not sure what it is. This is uh, Orpheus Island, which has a nice resort, and that is part of the uh, research station. Equipment in the water there. And then that giant island is Palm Island, and that's the uh, community on Palm Island there. Magnetic Island. And that's Townsville. Third. So we're almost 300. Yeah, 284 litres. We were burning it wide open at 34 knots. Um, at our cruise speed of 24 knots, we're about just under 200 litres an hour.
Loving the high flow, it's something like... Unreal. Yeah, so good run down to Townsville. It was about, what, nine hours, I think. Just fueling up, 1,500 litres at a guess. Ah, it's about 100 litres short by the looks of that. <laughs> Not that it matters, because tomorrow's run is a lot shorter down to the Whitsundays. So we moved around to our allocated berth. It was pretty squeezy, but with that uh, IPS drive, it was uh, not too hard. Then we went off to town, found ourselves a nice restaurant for dinner, and almost stood on a snake on the way back. <laughs> Things you see, hey? So pre-dawn start, drop our uh, gate keys off. You can see the sun starting to lighten the sky. So it was a bit of an engine room check. Give you a quick look around the engine room. So that's the uh, single generator, refrigeration above it. On the back walls, our water maker system. And behind the Volvos, you can see the IPS drives there. That's the gyro in that box, gyro stabilizer charging gear come forward there to some more refrigeration and air conditioning black tank Yeah, the joystick does make docking very easy. That's the Bandana, a Norman Wright built boat. She used to have a Navy hull, for those who remember her. She's new owner, had a big refit and was cruising the coast. I ended up seeing them down in the Whitsundays after this as well. So, good to see her being used. So that's Magnetic Island in the background there. That's the main shipping port, which is actually in the Ross River. Our marina has its own little entrance. Anyway, it was time to get up on the plane, cross Cleveland Bay, and run down to the Whitsundays. So that's uh, Cape Cleveland there, you can see the lighthouse. Just out the front, Salamander Rocks, that broken water there, always give that a wide berth. And that's Holborn Island, which is sort of east of uh, Bowen. And then before we knew it, we were at the top of uh, Hayman Island. You can see we sure got that weather window right. Anyway, I said to Sam, we've got time to stop and have a swim and just give everything a bit of use. What a boat, eh? Yeah, she's a beauty. Absolutely beautiful part of the world. It's a hard life, this delivery work, he reckons. Anyway, after lunch it was time to uh, get everything together and head into Hamilton Island. If you look in there, those boats, that's Sid Harbour. 
very popular anchorage. Also the home of where those shark attacks were a couple of years ago, so be careful swimming around there. There's Hamilton Island in the distance. That's Titan Island. Such an amazing island really, such a good facility for boaters. So we went off and had a meal. And a nice early night. And we got up early because I was really keen to show Sam the walk I like to do up to the uh, top of Passage Peak. It's about a two hour, two and a half hour round trip. Such an amazing view, looking up the Whitsunday Passage and over to Whitsunday Island there. And Anyway, we packed the boat up and went straight off to the airport. So uh, thanks again for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Cheers.